Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. Hope you are all doing great. And today we are going to see another interesting problem, three sum with multiplicity. So the input given here is an integer array and a target integer. And we have to return the number of tuples i, j, k such that i less than j less than k and array of i plus array of j and array of k is equal to target. So let's understand this problem with an example. Here is a given example integer array and our target is 8 here. Now our job is to find three numbers that sums up to 8 from the given array. So what are the possible numbers that can form 8 in the given array? That is 1, 2, 5 can form 8, 1, 3, 4, 2, 2, 4 and finally 2, 3, 3 can form 8. So here if you see 1 is given 2 times and 2 is given as 2 times and 3 present 3 2 times again and 4 present 2 times finally 5 also present 2 times. So in this case if you consider the first combination 1 2 5 you have one, 2 1s to consider, 2 2s to consider and 2 5s to consider. So the total possible combination of 1 2 5 to form 8 is going to be 6. That is considering the first one, first two and first five the same way first one second two and second five and all different combinations of one two and five so we all understand how combinations work so clearly we're gonna get the help of our combination formula to find the number of tuples that can be used to form target eight so here there are three different cases for the same formula so let's understand that first before getting into the code the first tuples we are taking that add up to 8 is going to be 1, 2, 5. Here all three numbers are different. So in this case, in our given array, there are n number of 1s, n number of 2s and n number of 5s. So out of n number of 1s, we have to choose 1, 1. So out of frequency of 1s, you have to choose 1, 1. Same way, out of all frequencies of 2, you have to two, choose 1, 2. And out of all frequencies of 5, you have to choose 1, 5. So if you apply the combination formula for the frequency of that number by choosing 1 out of that, you will it will actually shorten to n, that is frequency of 1 into frequency of 2 into frequency of 3. So this is the formula we are going to apply if all the numbers are different. Just for an example, if we are having 5 ones, then 5c1 will be like 5 factorial by 4 factorial into 1 factorial which actually shorten up to 5. That is what we are representing as simply frequency of 1 into frequency of 2 frequency of 3 because simply this will come as the answer. So moving on to our second case. So the second tuple we have chosen that sums up to 8 is 2 2 4. In this case if you observe two numbers are equal and one number is different. So here we can assume that from the frequencies of all twos, you have to choose two twos and from frequencies of all fours, you have to choose one four. That is from all frequencies of two, you have to choose two twos and from all frequencies of four, you have to choose one four. So simply what are we going to do? We're going to apply the combination formula here and calculate the total number of elements or total number of 2 to 4 combinations present in the given array. So for example, there were 2 2's and we have to choose all 2 2's for this combination and there were 2 4's out of that we have to choose 1 4. So this we know it actually sums up to the frequency of 4 so it directly comes 2. So here this will be shortened to n into n minus 1 by 2. So if you apply the combination formula, you will understand why we have come up to this part. That is for example, if we have 6 2's and we have to choose 2 2's among that, it will be like 6 factorial by 4 factorial into 2 factorial that actually shorten up to 6 into 5 by 2. So that is what we are representing as n into n minus 1. So if the two numbers are equal and one number is different, then we are going to apply 
this formula that is n into n minus 1 by 2 into the frequency of the third number. So moving on to our case 3. So for our case 3, consider our target is equal to 6. So the tuples we have chosen is 2, 2, 2 where all three numbers are equal. So again, we are going to apply combination formula where frequency of the given number n has to be chosen thrice. So if 2 is there for 6 times, you have to choose 3 2's from the 6 2's to form 6. So if we further shorten this formula, it will actually become n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 6. For example, take this 6 3's out of, sorry, 6 2's out of that, you have to choose 3 2's, then it will become 6 factorial by 3 factorial into 3 factorial. This actually sums up to 6 into 5 into 4 by 6. So this is what we are representing in the form of this formula. So if our all 3 i, j and k are going to be equal, then we are going to apply this formula and calculate the number of tuples that can be formed if all 3 numbers are equal. So hope you are understanding all these 3 cases. So now let's go to the code. So first I am going to record the frequencies of given integers in the input. So I am going to get the help of my hash map. As it is said, the values can be higher and we have to return modulo 10 power 9 plus 7. I am using long to record my frequencies. So now if x plus y plus z is equal to target, then z is equal to target minus x minus y. Using that, I'm going to calculate my z first and find whether z is present in the map or not. If it is present, then we found our tuple. If my z is present in my hash map then we found a tuple so record all the three frequencies so once we recorded the frequencies we have to apply the formula for all three cases and find a result so first i'm going to check whether all my three numbers are equal Then my answer is equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 6. Else, I'm going to check my second case if two numbers are equal. Then n into n minus 1 by 2 into the frequency of the third element. And finally checking my last case if all my numbers are different. So yes, we have applied formula and calculated our answer. Now we have to finally return it modulo of 10 power 9 plus 7. Let's run now. Yes, so let's submit. Yes, our solution is accepted. And thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.